This is Sally. She is a very kawaii Robloxian city girl. She's an American exchange student who goes to an anime Robloxian high school. She was walking one time and then something, or someone, caught her attention. She immediately fell in love with a super attractive senpai. Oh boy oh boy oh boy. There is someone who is arousing me because of how attractive he is. Those eyes. They are as fierce and determined as that of the Big Brother poster. Yet I can still see compassion, empathy, and love within them. Those hands. They are as realistic as the ones that I use to masturbate with in real life. They look as manly as that of a hard-working man who fingers his beautiful sister at night and as gentle as a man whose sole purpose is to care for dragons. Damn, look at those thighs. They'd make better lap pillows than the ones from the anime. Now this is a man I'd like to sleep on. Holy shit Teru, that ass is very uptight. I can tell that this man stands up for himself and doesn't let himself get fucked over. Anally. That is, no longer will I have to eat a Taco Bell with nobody to squirt sour cream onto my face. I shall now compose an articulate letter of love to my future lover. This should work. I even managed to use my brother's juices to glue this envelope shut. I have a confession to make. I too have something deep to confess, bro. I have always felt an attachment. I should have stopped holding back my feelings long ago but I was too much of a pussy to say anything back then. But I have to say, I am strongly in love. This is not just any love, it's the super hot kind of love. Never in my life have I been able to express my deepest feelings. I truly am in love with another woman. Why would you choose her over me? She's just a worthless good-for-nothing ugly outdated 2.0 user. I bet she's also the type to laugh at Facebook memes unironically. Flower. Huh. The one thing that nobody will put on her grave once this grandma dies. Please stop. Let me tell you why. I love her. When I was in grade school, I was bullied a lot. Give us your lunch money. You ugly lolly. Please no, my mommy and daddy are super poor and they work super hard to feed me. You little shit bag. You sound like a filthy proletariat. But I'm still willing to share if you're really dead hungry. How dare you speak to us in such a condescending tone. That's what you get for being a noob. Oh man, I have mud all over my face. What's this? A lost child I see. I bet he'll enjoy the cotton candy paradise, where I'll let him be. I'm an Alabama noob, and I wanna be free, hell would end up ACP. So then I used TikTok magic and spawned a bunny senpai. I feel like committing eggs and world. Konnichiwa. Nani the fuck? Why does the lolly look sad? Has someone committed dark deeds on you? Here, let me patch you up. Thank you so much. You have no idea how mean those big bad bullies were. It's going to be alright. I shall protect you from those nasty 1.0s. No longer shall scummy pay to win elitists bring down newborn epic gamers of Roblox. I have never seen someone as kind-hearted as you to save someone as pathetic as me. So, um, this may be a little awkward for me to say, but wanna hang out sometime? I mean you don't have to accept or anything, it's just that nobody has ever wanted to be my friend. You know, cause I'm just a bunny girl made in the lab ready to be disposed of by Peter. Oh hell no! Oh. Just kidding, of course I will. From that day on, we did everything together. We ate lunch together, played video games together, and even bathed together. Eventually, I asked her to be my girlfriend and she said yes. I hope you understand.
later that day. Konichu Waseli, how was your day at school? Sorry Bun Bun, but I'd rather not talk about it. Don't worry it's cool, we all have our down times. If you need me, I'll be cooking some beef stew for our next meal. Bun Bun, I need your help with something. Of course. Just close your eyes for a second. Alright. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. Just on time for the date. Oh wow, you are looking very kawaii and sugoi today, my lady. I'm gonna surprise my date with a silly bounce. Nani, why are there two of you? Senpai, let's go. She's just some fake bunny cosplayer. You manipulative psychopath. Bob, can you not tell that she is obviously a fake? Just look at her Down syndrome face and her anorexic body. Well, my true bunny senpai saved me from bullies. So only the most badass of you two is the real bunny woman. I would say that the one with the badass is that faker. But obviously she is too weak to do anything truly badass. Bring it on. I don't think that cocky ass of yours is even gonna exist once you get fucked up real bad. You absolute barker, I will kill you for this. Wow, that was pretty heroic of you. You saved me from a cheeky fake. I'm just happy that you're alive and we can spend the rest of our lives together in peace. Sally thought to herself. Fools, have they forgotten that I'm an exchange student from America? It Okay, now that was epic. Top 10 anime plot twists that turned me on. If you liked it so much, come over here and play with me. No, there's simply something wrong with this. We can play with Flower's dead body. I mean, if all she's gonna do is fertilize the flowers with that body, might as well use the most of our resources. Oh boy, we are gonna make some high IQ babies. Yandere's may have a cold-hearted approach, but they are still warm-hearted enough for a dedicated relationship.